flag, the steepest red, the shrouded of a martyr dead, and her their limbs grew stiff and cold, their hearts blood died, it's a fold, so red the scarlet standard high. It will take people together to demand a new direction for this island. It cannot be achieved by our political representatives. It will not come about by voting once every few years. It will require protest. It will require a united movement. It will require people standing together, united, in opposition to big business and the cronies and Dáil Éireann and the Assembly. Our strategy demands a national democratic economy based on the people whose interests are separate from the greed and corruption of big business. We support an alliance of workers, small farmers, small business, the unemployed and the poor who have a shared common experience having been screwed by monopoly capitalism. They all have an interest in demanding an alternative. We propose the creation of a state development bank in order to control the application of capital on this island and in order to streamline its use into sustainable and productive industry and businesses for the benefit of all and not just a few shareholders. The bank can be capitalised via a variety of sources to provide much needed credit to small business and also secure the savings and pensions of working people. It is an alternative to the bottomless pit of existing banks. Partnered to this bank, we believe a national development corporation with democratic accountability can prioritise the necessary investment opportunities and engage in the research required. This state agency will not be beholden to the interests of multinationals or corrupt politicians. It will answer only the people of this island and so promote development in line with our needs. We also need to control our own natural resources. The government recently estimated there to be 540 billion worth of oil and gas off Ireland's coast. All of this is owned by multinationals who profit off our resources, our island's wealth. We support the public ownership of these energy resources and any expertise required can be brought in where necessary under public contract. The common fisheries policy enforced upon us from Brussels has cost the Irish people hundreds of billions of euro. It has also sold many fishing communities down the river as they lost out in one of Europe's political games. Control over our seas must be reclaimed and become a key element of a people's economy. Capitalist development globally has driven dependence upon non-renewable energy that is destroying our environment while enriching the few. We know there are valuable renewable sources on this island and within its waters. Technological developments are making the potential in wind, water and sun realisable. But to avoid the mistakes of the past, these resources must be held in common and public ownership so everyone on this island can have equal access to them. It's in the song, Chicago swells, it's searching for wrong, so is the sky up. Stand our high, but then it's shit. We live and die. The carrots flinch, palm traitors sneer. We keep the red flag flying.